Come on then, Chris, let's have it. What? Give us your best. Oh, so, welcome to wonderful Huang Horshon. A kilometre down the road is the famous Spa Huang Horshon circuit. We're not starting from there because there's a bit of a hill. So Tim was looking uh, kind enough, in fact, to allow me to start just at the crest of the hill, straight into a descent, which is great. You're going down there, are you? Down there. Any more questions for me? How are you feeling? I mean, I'm eating a stroop waffle. Prior to riding, that should tell you everything. I'm in need of much morale. Need a poo? A little bit, yeah. Oh, it's not nerves, that. though. It's not nerves. 92 kilometers of Belgium roads. Belgium will only need roads. You ready? Are you a bit, Louis? Right then, let's see how these legs are. Come on, just have normal legs. I don't need good legs. I don't need good form. I just need normal legs. Just need the wee wee. needs to be a bit more positive about this ride three climbs down there's still like uh 10 to go i think so we're following the last four climbs of liege baston liege so we're heading to liege now uh that one that we've just done the roton i don't know that's the second to last climb at liege so we've got one more coming up which is the Faucon. um yeah that when the pace is slow it's better. I, yeah, I don't. I can't even. I can't even begin to explain what it is that's that's happening in my legs. But my effort and level of exertion is not condu. Uh, no, not. It's not lining up with what I'm seeing. The numbers I'm putting out. I know where my heart rate should be. I know how my legs should feel. That's not happening. It's like I've just got a, such a, leg, a level of fatigue in my legs that the moment I go beyond threshold everything just tightens up but that's indicative as to what we've seen for the last probably two or three weeks now uh, which is really frustrating because 
I should start feeling a bit fresh now. I should start feeling like, what can you do, Bridge? Sweet FA, get on with it. I'm in Liège. Yeah, steep hill. Ooh, there's a nice view to the right of that big bridge. It's a climb in Liège, but well, I don't know what we've got. Still got 1.3 to go. It's the second to last big climb. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. That's a bit more spicy. <laughs> Me. Louis! I found something to write home about. 14.3 into 12.3 into 14.3 into 10.2. Can you imagine doing this after 220k? At the speed they do it, no. Uh, this section of it is 1.1 at 11. It's a bit where you're doing? Yeah. Right. A bit short. Yeah. But it peaks out at like 17, I think. Yeah. It's nicer than to put a bike lane on the right hand side to pretend as if you wouldn't be using the whole road to get up it. <laughs> Goes round to the left up here. And that's the steep bit where Carapaz tried to go a couple of years ago. 1k to go. 116 meters still to climb. Gone for an in saddle approach. Don't have the energy to get out. <laughs> <sighs> nice to see you've gone for the uh, Pogachar tufts in the helmet as well. How about that? Yeah. Section of 11 now. Uh, come on! 14% now. 500 meters to the top. Steepest section here. Go on, Chris. One last kick up after this bit. Here's Louis. Here's the boy in honey. 
Uh. That's it, come on. Come on, 200 meters to go. My gloves are falling out. Oh. <laughs> cameras and uh, chilling and nilling. Just um, arrived at the top of the Faucon. By the first part of it, is that right Tim to do a bit more at the Liège? Uh, yeah, I'll go back down now and then I'll go back up. And the are we doing bit. that as well? No. All right. We're turning left. I like it. Gear yeah, links. Links. And Louis arrived. The family's all back together and no one's cried yet. You back? Oh! Oh! How was your ride compared to yesterday? How Much better. Feeling? We did nine, no, we did 10K less than yesterday, but we did the same amount of climbing. And I think the climbs were a little more brutal today, in my opinion. The roads were grippier and Tim was leaving it all out there. He, um, he left no prisoners. What? See? Did he half wheel you? Again. Full wheel. I mean, check the footage out. I can, I'm sure you can find at least Two hours of footage of him just half wheeling me. And we only rode for two hours. No, we did three hours twenty. Uh, but yeah, it was good. It was good. It was all right. I cracked right at the end with about thirteen k to go. There was like loads of these little ramps, and we were like hitting them at forty k, and I was doing all right. And then one of them just got me. That was it. What happened? I just went boo out the back. Hey everybody, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel because it's some of the best cycling content. Oh.